what's 5 plus 2? You got it. So 52 plus 23 equals 75. Here's another problem you can do in your head. 46 plus 30. You've already learned that you can add 46 and 10 just by changing the 4 to a 5. Remember that? Well, this problem isn't really much harder. All you have to do on this one is increase the 10's digit by 3 instead of 1, since you're adding 30 instead of 10. Why don't you go ahead and do that? No, 4 plus 3 is 7. And so that leaves us with an answer of 76. Hello there, and we are looking at Teaching Textbooks 3.0 today. Now, our family has never used the 2.0, but when I first discovered Teaching Textbooks a few years ago, it was the 2.0 version that I saw. The 2.0 version has your traditional textbook and then um, your CD-ROM lessons. You do not have to use um, the ebook with 3.0. You can still buy the textbook, or you can still use the whole 2.0 set. But this is the 3.0, and this is our parent launch page. So we're going to open our launch page, and we're going to pull up our lessons. So here we can do, um, we can view and print the student grades. We can view and print the student textbook and answer keys. You can change your password or your students. You can change hint and second chance rules. You can manage your subscription and you can contact support. We haven't had any reason to contact support directly, but there was a glitch in the system for a couple days um, not long after we began using this. And they were very good to send out emails and to keep us updated on everything that was going on. And teaching textbooks let us know as soon as that issue was resolved and we could log back on normally. So first here, I want to show you the student grades. So we have Mr. T here who is in Math 3. I love their little illustrations. They're a lot of fun. Uh, the kids really seem to enjoy those too. So we have actually made it all the way, I think, to Lesson 38 now. Um, so for him, typically we do um, anything over an 80 we keep. But you can see I've gotten behind here. We've been dealing with asthma this week. And he's still been doing his math lessons. And he has been doing them without complaining. That's huge. Normally, if we have a really bad asthma flare, when the seasons change, we have to shut down completely. But we did not this time. So um, I'm going to go back and um, we'll start here. We'll do lesson 30. So we come through and you can see here, it tells me which problems he missed. And I can go here and hit the E for edit and I can delete it. And then I'm going to go here and delete it and I'll delete these. I'll go ahead and delete the practice problems because they're very similar um, to the actual lecture. They, they kind of review everything in the lecture in the practice problems and then you go on to the regular problems. So we're going to delete this one and this one and this one. And I will make a note in his notebook that he needs to start back with lesson 30, double checking anything that he missed. And so we'll go, um, and I can even print this. Print. And this way he knows exactly which problems he's gonna have to go back and do. I'll just go over the printed sheet with the highlighter. So now we can go back, but you can see here, you can see the total number of problems they complete, or no, number of problems, what they completed, the number correct, and their score. Now here, you can see where I just adjusted this lesson. There are 22 total problems. He completed 16 because I erased those. So that moves his score to 100. Um, and then I'll go on through here. Now, this is my grade book. On the student side that I'll show you in a few minutes, he also has a grade book, but that grade book does not allow editing. So here you can also go into um, quizzes, and you can see um, his quiz scores. We're super happy with these. 
Um, and then there's bonuses that you can go to. And these are um, extra points that they can earn, bonus rounds. And um, he really, really enjoys these. Um, they're, they're very competitive and he, uh, he thinks they're a lot of fun. Um, I can see any child that has a slightly competitive nature really thinking the quizzes are fun. And the cool thing is they're competing against themselves. They're not, you know, it's not a sibling kind of thing. They're competing against themselves. So we'll go back. And here we go. So I'm going to show you now the book. Okay, so this is your ebook. You go into here and you're going to see individual lessons. You can do a whole section or you can do the index. So this is what it looks like when you're viewing a lesson. Da, 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 da. All right. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. They have really cute cartoons in here that we really, uh, we really get a kick out of. So here you can see, if you were just using a textbook, this is all things that you would have to read. Because teaching textbooks reads it and goes through the lecture interactively with my child, I don't have to do all this. Um, and honestly, as much as we read aloud and all the other subjects that we cover, that's really a blessing because I end up losing my voice a lot. You can hear it kind of now. But um, this goes through and it just shows you the lesson. It shows you what they're practicing um, through the lecture portion. And then you get to your practice problems. And then you get to your actual problems. So it's very easy and you do have the option. You can print a single lesson at a time. So if you have a lesson that your child is really struggling with and it's just one particular concept, you can go through and just print that lesson or any lessons that relate to that. So here too, you can also um, select your whole section You can see it's a much larger section. So you go through and you can get all these different lessons and you can print them all at the same time if you want to print them. Um, if you don't, you can just look at them on your device. And then of course the index. So we'll go back here. Um, the password changing is very easy. Um, you can change the hint and the second chance rules. We do have hints and second chances are, or I'm sorry, on. And then it tells you here, um, second chances only apply to problems where your student has to type in an answer. They cannot do a second chance on a multiple choice. So you can turn these on and off. Um, your student also has that option. And they can turn off their buddies if they find them distracting. Here you manage your subscriptions and here you contact teaching textbooks. So we are going to go over now. So here we have your student homepage. Now your student homepage is um, going to take you, you can opt to go to the ebook or you can go straight to the interface. All right, so we'll just go back here to lesson one. So these are your buddies and you can change them. And they do a little bit of moving. They ask you if you want a hint and things like that. Um, so your student has the settings, okay? So they can pick buddies. They can change their wallpaper. They can do sounds. They can turn it on or off. And honestly, I'm gonna change this and not ask him because sometimes the buddies are a little distracting. Um, I can't remember right now which one he usually picks to put on there, but he does enjoy changing the buddies from time to time. So you can hit your lecture. And I'll turn my volume on here so you can actually... We already that know that when you add zero to the number, the number stays the same. See, here's four plus zero. And this just equals four. Why don't you do one? What's eight plus zero? Good. The same thing happens when we subtract zero. Watch. 
here's 5 minus 0, and the answer is just 5. The number stays the same. You do 1. What's 6 minus 0? No, 6 minus 0 is still 6. Now let's do something different. Let's add 1 to a number. So that's what it does when they get something wrong, or sometimes they'll say try again. So it's a very positive reinforcement. Hey, you did a good job for trying, but let's look at this a little closer. So we really enjoy that. Now this is where your student can access their grade book. All right, and you can see on here, and he'll be able to look and see now that this is showing that he didn't finish them all. So if I do forget to tell them, tell him that I want him to redo this lesson, he's going to see that anyway. And then um, you can see here on his quizzes, he can go back to the grade book. He can go to his bonuses and see, and he just, it kind of gives him a better idea of what he's doing. And then um, he can go home and he can look at the ebook if he wants to look at the ebook. And this one just gives you the table of contents and the index. There's not a way to look at whole segments at a time. And that is the interface for Teaching Textbooks 3.0. I hope you all have enjoyed this, and we look forward to seeing you again on EverydayGracesHomeschool.com.